What's good, y'all? This is your boy, Mr. Pound for Pound, once again back in the house. And you know when I'm in the house, it's definitely going down. I'm talking about the post-fight coverage between Manny Pacquiao and Timothy Bradley. The fight that took place April 12, 2014 at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. A place I've still yet to go. Ain't that crazy? I know. Anyway, I'm going to get right into it. Your boy, Timothy Bradley, currently 31 wins, 12 KOs. One of those um, fights that he has coming by way of loss. Uh, you know, no draws on his record. It's for Manny Pacquiao. It ups his record to 56 wins, 38 by knockout, five of those fights coming by um, loss, and three of those losses by knockout, two by draw. Uh, so, you know, long careers for both fighters. Manny Pacquiao does take the undefeated reign from Timothy Bradley. He's no longer undefeated because of Manny Pacquiao. Uh, a lot of people might say that should have been the case the first time they fought. I personally feel the same way. I thought Manny Pacquiao beat him the first time. Um, in this fight, the, the rematch was interesting. It pretty much looked like the first fight. It just looked like a little more aggressive Manny Pacquiao, a little bit more better of a boxer Pacquiao. Um, you know, he was coming in. He was landing his shots. Good jabs. Good combinations uh, in this fight actually is what I think killed Bradley, was just the combination punching and the foot movement. Ironically to me, Timothy Bradley in this rematch looked worse than the first fight. Uh, this fight, he didn't look as much of a boxer. He looked as... Bradley looked as if he had something to prove and he was going out there to prove it, but he looked discouraged. He looked tired. He looked frustrated. He looked beat up. Uh, There's a few times he got knocked off balance. Um, you know, there's a couple times where I thought he was going to go down. Um, but Timothy Bradley, tough as nails, durable. You know, he's not going to go nowhere. He took a beating in the fight. Good boxing lesson by Manny Pacquiao. And an easy, easy unanimous decision victory. Um, scorecards read 116-112, 118-110, 116-112. I would agree with 116-112. Um, you know, Timothy Bradley did good work. He had Manny Pacquiao against the ropes. He did good work, uh, boxed him here and there, but he just didn't do enough. And, uh, you know, I, I would have liked to see Desert Storm be a little busier in there during that fight. Um, definitely a lot more hard nosed. I thought he should have been better balanced. Uh, his footwork was, was not the best that night. Manny Pacquiao just came with a mission. You know, he thought he won the first fight and it looked as if Bradley thought he did too in the ring. Um, so easy rematch victory for Manny Pacquiao. I don't have really much to go over as far as my post fight. I just think Manny did a great job. Combination punching. I mean, there was one point in the fight where he threw a 10 punch combo. So, you know, Bradley was giving him room to get away with stuff like that. Easy victory for Manny Pacquiao. Now we got Manny Pacquiao going up against Chris Algieri in the fall. Um, great fight because Algieri just came off that that lovely upset of Provodnikov. A lot of people didn't expect, myself included. Um, so we're going to see what kind of fight Manny Pacquiao has in line for him. You know, he's given up four inches in height. He's given up like three, four inches in reach. Uh, interesting fight. Uh, so we'll see. Go ahead and check out my pre-fight on that and get at me. This is your boy, Mr. Pound for Pound. Y'all have a great one. Peace.